and welcome to the Frederick Gallery of the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts. The May 2022 National All Media Juried Exhibition titled Faces and Figures. Our gallery is open on Monday, Thursday, and Friday, noon to 4, Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4, and Sunday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. We are closed on Tuesday and Wednesdays. This month, we have a wonderful photography exhibit downstairs in our members gallery by Carrie Anderson of Critzler, Virginia, that's near Harrisonburg. I'd like to introduce you to our juror, Ward Saunders, who traveled his way up the route from Richmond to be with us to select these entries and to select the awards. Ward Saunders' current artwork centers in mixed media representational figure drawings grounded by contour lines that are rich in quality and character. His creative use of charcoal, graphite, Conte crayon, ink, and watercolor are a vital part of his personal visual language. Ward's formal training began at Virginia Commonwealth University, where he graduated in 1992 with a BFA in Communication, Arts, and Design, and again in 2003 with a BFA in Art Education. He also studied drawing and painting at the Art Students League in New York City. Ward has worked as a freelance illustrator, public school art teacher, and as a creative assistant at Virginia Living Magazine. He currently lives in Richmond, Virginia, and works on a variety of projects out of his Fulton Hill studio. He is also currently teaching figure drawing in the Communication Arts Department at VCU. So we welcome our juror, Ward Saunders. All right, Carol, thank you for such a wonderful introduction and hello to everyone. It's so good to be here at the FCCA to talk about the new exhibition, Faces and Figures. Um, you know, I have to tell you when I arrived and walked in and, and you know, I looked at these pieces individually, but to walk in and to see them uh, as a complete body of work hanging together was really quite something and a great feeling. I would like to express my appreciation for everyone who submitted artwork for consideration. So when making selections, I look for the following things. First, I look to see if the artist showcased the figure or face in an interesting context. Then I look for good craftsmanship. And finally, I look to see if the artist had their own personal language. So hey, come on with me and let's go take a look at the honorable mentions and our first, second, and third place winners. All right, so for our, the first honorable mention, I'd like to look at this painting by Marcia Chavez. Uh, it's titled Early Spring at Mott's. And it really captured me. Uh, it has a kind of nostalgia to it. And at the same time, it feels otherworldly. And I think it's to do with this really atmospheric uh, perspective that takes you into the soft background. And then these really interesting figures that are really more about shape and color. And the color that is paired nicely with the neutrals that go in the background. Um, there are so many wonderful things happening here, uh, but I just really feel the nostalgia of this piece and that seeing the figures in this in the context of this captured moment. Uh, it, I just kept coming back to this painting. It's wonderful. All right, and for the second honorable mention, I wanted to uh, award that to uh, "Mother's Love" by Jake Sosa. In this piece, while on so many levels it's wonderful, first of all, it, from a distance it has this graphic quality. You see the darks, the lights. I love the big space with the subtlety and these big dark shapes. But then as you come closer, you realize it's not a photograph. It's a graphite drawing. And the level of skill and craftsmanship is amazing. Uh, you really see the, the uh, gradation in the big shades, the transitions, but you also see wonderful detail and the nuances and the detail of the anatomy in the faces and in the hands. So this is just a wonderful piece. Um, and I also like the graphic quality of the hair and the movement as it takes you through uh, lots of uh, horizontal, vertical, and diagonal elements that make this a really interesting composition. All right, and for the third honorable mention, I've selected Oppression by Phyllis Gradzeus. And this is a small piece that's full of, of power and charm. Uh, it's a pen and ink uh, or ink on clayboard. Um, 
And it's just, I kept coming to it feeling how spacious it was, this little piece that is full of figures and faces, but I just, it felt so good looking at it and was just amazed at how she created such a, a, a effective foreground, middle ground, background, how she used overlapping shapes and how she controlled the value. It's just a beautiful piece, it's full of charm. All right, and for the fourth and last honorable mention, I selected Girl on a Road by Ellen Moore Osborne. And this is a charming little piece that really just finds its strength in design. It's a mixed media piece, so to look at it closely, you can really see all the layering and the use of uh, wonderful photographs that, that may have come from a more nostalgic era. And the design, just these nice circular forms and the angles again, horizontal and vertical, uh, really frame the figure who is repeated and it creates this sense of movement or sequencing that really speaks to her action as if she's saying, look at me. You know, she's showing her, her, her energy and positivity in, in her dress. Uh, you know, as a viewer, you can imagine uh, what's going on in this day, but it's just a lovely piece. And now I'm excited to look at the first, second, and third place winners. And we're going to start with uh, my third, third place selection. Uh, it's a painting called She Awoke Haunted by the Dream, and it's by Carolyn Beaver. And this painting kept catching my attention. I would leave the room and come back in, and I, it just kept calling to me. And so thinking about what it was, it's just a mix of a great many things. But the first thing is, and I think this is the case for all three of, uh, of the final pieces we're going to look at, is there's, there's a clear visual language. You know, when I look at the piece, I look for my understanding of seeing the figure, and I do, and seeing a face, but it's almost like looking at a topographical map. There's movement, there's texture, there's color, and it just keeps calling me to look deeper and see more. And just this color, this turquoise color and the layering and the transparency uh, it just has a magical kind of electric uh, play uh, that's going on here. Um, but I love the subtlety and the suggestion of the figure and I love all of the, the line quality as they get thick and thin and just the weight of things where you have a, a dark shape but it has transparent layers so there's so much more to see underneath. Uh, and that's throughout light and dark layers. It's just got a really graphic quality. Um, but the more I look, the more I see. So I, I'm really excited to uh, select this piece as the third place winner. And the second place award goes to uh, Rebecca Carpenter with her photograph, Circuitous. And this is uh, a wonderful piece um, from a design point of view. It's just a nice play with uh, texture, shape, and line. I love the horizontal lines in the background. Uh, they get crossed by the figure itself in, in more of a, a, a S-curve but vertical alignment. Um, it's juxtaposed with this really wonderful texture of a crack in the wall. So to see the crack as much as a, a figure is a figure itself, um, I think is a really wonderful uh, uh, juxtaposition again and the play with uh, with value and tone the darkness of her hair that is picked up again down in the, the bottom of the composition um, whereas the tones in her skin are picked up in the upper two-thirds of the composition so so many wonderful things going on here but it's just an absolutely beautiful piece okay and I'm excited to give the first place award to Nick Candela with Take Me to God and gosh, I have so much I want to say here, but this piece uh, kept calling me to it. Of course, it's a large painting, so I can come stand in front of it. And, um, you know, of course, I was looking first to the face, and I said, well, there really isn't much of a face. And then I looked to the figure part, and there's not a ton of figure. And yet, it somehow really checks the box in terms of showing the figure in the face in an interesting way. And the reason that is for me is because when I stand in front of it, then I, I complete the painting. I use my mind and my idea to complete the figure. 
And I just think that's such an interactive and unusual way to look at a piece of art. So I get to participate with it. Um, in addition, the way it transitions from color to black and white, um, the scale of things in the, in the composition, the way it's balanced using kind of pop culture iconography, uh, just has a lot of room to be playful around what might be a very serious subject. And the composition really leads my eye. I mean, you have, again, the verticals leading me up to the diagonal of the hand, kind of cascading down through. Um, thematically, uh, there's sort of this cloud, uh, which again, you know, presumably is from the rocket ship, but may also play into the name of the title of the painting, which is Take Me to God. So it kind of has uh, this otherworldliness. Um, the position of the figure in the top portion uh, is also important. So there are just so many wonderful aspects about this painting, um, and I'm really excited and happy to, to award it the first prize.
Thank you, Ward, for doing an outstanding job and taking time out of your busy schedule to select this wonderful exhibition and the awards. I want to remind our viewers that our gallery is open to the public and you certainly will enjoy seeing these in person. We're located in the Fredericksburg Center for Creative Arts, FCCA, at 813 Sophia Street in downtown historic Fredericksburg, Virginia. Thank you for joining us. The Fredericksburg Center for the Creative Arts, where art and history meet.